Working out with weights can be good for you. It helps build up muscle, strengthen bones and lose fat. But pushing yourself too far can be a disaster for your back and front bottoms. Anybody that strains excessively, for instance, during heavy lifting or, you know, hardcore exercise, is at the risk of prolapsing something. So if you're a guy, you may cause rectal prolapse. Or if you're a girl, you may cause a vaginal or rectal prolapse. Ooh, sounds nasty. But what is it exactly? Well, a prolapse of the womb is essentially when the womb slips from its position either into the vagina or it can protrude outside. Why does that happen? Well, we've all got pelvic floor muscles. If these muscles become weakened through childbirth, lots of coughing, lifting heavy weights, then that allows the womb to slip down. And likewise, you can get equivalent prolapse with the rectum. A lot of times it happens in squats. People want to build big legs or they want to, you know, achieve a certain muscularity. They think they'll pile on the weights. And these are the problems that prolapse happens when a lot of straining goes into things. It happens a lot and people need to realise that these are, these are part of the dangers in the gym that you need to realise. You need to know what you're doing before you go in. Just look what happened to this poor fellow, a champion weightlifter with a textbook example of what can happen to your colon when you lift too much and strain too hard. The picture's too disturbing to show in all its glory, but take it from me, you really don't want this to happen to your leotard. So what can we do to keep our nether regions in good nick? Apparently, it's all down to a strong pelvic floor. The way to practice doing pelvic floor muscles are, think about you're doing a wee, you squeeze the muscles to stop doing a wee, those are the muscles you should be doing. So do five of those, you know, six or seven times a day. In fact, just while talking, I've done half a dozen of them. Hmm, well, you'd never know.